does 72 hertz actually help you in Google Tag? In this video, we're going to find out. We are going to be testing 72 hertz, 90 hertz, and 120 hertz. Let's go right to testing. This is 72 hertz. I'm going to vertical up this wall as far as I can. I didn't go that high. I'm not very good at verticaling. I'm gonna try wall running. So that was a pretty good, not the best I can do, but it should be good enough. So that took me like 20 tries, but I think we got it. So now we're gonna move on to 90 hertz. I'm on 90 hertz. I'm gonna try it for, hopefully. I'm not very good at this. Okay, now wall running. Okay, I'd say that the wall running is worse. I was a bit more bouncy. Now we're gonna move on to branching. I'd say branching was a bit easier. Now we're gonna try 120 hertz. This is what I usually fly on, so I'm pretty good at it. Okay, this alt ready feels a lot smoother. So we're gonna try verticaling now.
and we're gonna try wall running. So I'd say a wall running felt a lot more normal on the 120 hertz. So now we're gonna try branching. So basically, I think that 72 hertz was really good for like walls. 90 hertz, I mean, it's like a balance between branches, wall, and walls. But 120 hertz just feels normal. It's basically just, if you find a plus three, it's normal hertz. So I'd say that 120 hertz is good for everything. 72 hertz is really good for walls. Bye.